Hello, and welcome to another Bookends tutorial. Today we're going to be teaching you about an exciting new feature called Floating Citations, which allows you to access Bookends references while in other applications. The first step is to make sure you have a Bookends library open. Floating citations are enabled by default, but let's double check in the preferences. So open Bookends Preferences and click on the Scan and Bib button. Floating citations should have the checkbox enabled. You invoke floating citations by double tapping a key. You can choose different keys, but we think the control key is probably the most convenient. Let's open a text editor. We'll use text edit in this example, but almost any text editor will work. Most of the features I'm about to show you can be used with keyboard shortcuts instead of the mouse if you find it more convenient. However, please note that some of the shortcuts won't work if the bookends library has been minimized and is in the dock. Let's open up the floating citations window by double tapping the trigger key, in our case the control key. The floating citation window appears and you can use it to do a live search of your bookends library for the reference you want. Once you've found it, there are a few ways to get the citation into your document. First, you can press this button to copy the citation. You can also press Return or press Command Y. Finally, you can drag and drop the citation into your document. This creates a temporary citation. We've already posted a tutorial video on how to use bookends to turn your temporary citations into formatted citations. There's another handy feature that lets you customize your citations before adding them to your document. You can access this feature from the drop-down menu here or by pressing Control command y This window lets you specify things like cited pages, prefix text, and a handful of other special cases for your temporary citation. Note that the changes to the temporary citation appear at the top of the window as you type. When you scan the document, Bookends will recognize these instructions and modify the formatted citation accordingly. Finally, you can use the floating citation window to copy a formatted citation. You can select Copy Formatted from the menu, you can press Command K, or you can hold the Option key down and drag and drop the reference into your document. I'll demonstrate this last one. I'll make the text larger so it's easier to read. One nice thing about dragging and dropping, rather than using the menu or the keyboard shortcut, is that the floating citation window remains open. This allows you to quickly and easily add multiple citations to your document. There are a couple of other handy tricks worth mentioning. Double-clicking on the image at the left of the reference will open any attached files. Double-clicking on the reference itself will bring bookends to the front and select the reference. These options are also available by right-clicking on the references in this floating citation window. The floating citations window is useful for more than just word processing. For example, you can use it to attach a PDF to an email by dragging and dropping the image on the left of the reference into your draft email. The floating citations feature integrates especially well with Melel's live bibliography feature. Citations are added already formatted, shown here in purple and the bibliography is built in real time as you work.